The United States has imposed sanctions on Russia's FSB for their alleged act of taking Americans as hostages. Following Russian authorities' refusal to allow the US Embassy in Moscow to visit incarcerated journalist Evan Gershkovich, a decision was made to take action. On Thursday, the US government placed fresh sanctions on Russia's FSB intelligence agency and Iran's Revolutionary Guard. Both countries were accused of taking Americans hostage abroad. A senior US official informed journalists that the country's newly imposed sanctions send a clear message that using human beings as bargaining chips or pawns is abhorrent and will not go unpunished. Last month, Evan Gershkovich, a journalist for the Wall Street Journal, was detained in Russia for allegedly engaging in espionage activities, as per reports. At her first press conference since being freed in a prisoner swap last year, basketball superstar Brittany Griner urged wrongly held Americans in Russia to stay resilient, persevere, and refuse to concede. Additionally, the US Treasury imposed sanctions on four leading members of Iran's intelligence unit within the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. Brian Nelson, the Undersecretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence of the Treasury, stated that the current measure is aimed at high-ranking officials and security services in Iran and Russia who hold responsibility for the inappropriate detention or abduction of American citizens abroad. Several U.S. citizens are currently detained in prisons in Russia and Iran. The U.S. government regards their imprisonment as unjust and politically motivated. The detention of Evan Gershkovich, a reporter for the Wall Street Journal, garnered global attention last month. Antony Blinken, the U.S. Secretary of State, joined the chorus calling for his swift release. Paul Whelan, a former U.S. Marine, was sentenced to 16 years in a Russian prison for allegedly engaging in espionage activities. Iranian prisons currently detain no fewer than three American nationals. Businessman Siamak Namazi has spent over seven years in a Tehran prison and recently resorted to a hunger strike, imploring U.S. President Joe Biden to negotiate his release. In order to secure the safe release of U.S. citizens who are being held captive abroad, promote accountability for those responsible, and ultimately prevent future injustices, the U.S. government has implemented a new series of sanctions. A senior official, who wished to remain anonymous, confirmed these efforts.